Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about increase or decrease percentage, there are many concepts which comes into picture when we talk about buying and selling of items. Now these, this is going to be very interesting and this is very much connected to the real life. Now what do you think that when a shopkeeper who is selling things, why does he sell things? to make money. So how does he make money? By making profit. And how does he make profit? So let us understand this. Now when you go to the sweet shop, you do see a lot of uh, sweet shop or any other shop, you do see a lot of uh, things which are there in that shop. Now this shopkeeper, he buys all these stuff from somewhere or he, he gets it from somewhere by paying a price for it. Even though if, even if it is a sweet shop, the shopkeeper has to have a a place where all the sweets are being prepared so he needs to spend for the raw materials which are needed to make those sweets right so the shopkeeper needs to pay a price in order to get all the things in his shop so the price which the shopkeeper pays that is called the cost price and the price at which the shopkeeper sells that item to you that is called the selling price so cost price is denoted by cp and selling price is denoted by sp now, how does the shopkeeper makes profit? Let's say that the shopkeeper bought a particular stuff for rupees 10 and the same item he will sell it to you for rupees 15. So he made a profit of rupees 5. So this extra 5 rupees which he got is his profit. So this is how the shopkeeper makes profit. Right? Now, let us suppose that in certain case, let's say the shopkeeper had purchased a book for rupees 10 and due to some reason, maybe one or two pages of that book was, you know, was not there or there was some defect in that book. Therefore, the customer denied to pay more than rupees 10 and the customer said that I am going to pay only rupees 5 for this book. Now, instead of 15, if the shopkeeper, now when he was selling it for 15, he was making profit. Now, instead of 15, let's say that he sold it to the customer for rupees 5 just because the book had some defect or whatever. So, what happened? Did the shopkeeper make any money? No. Instead, he incurred loss. So, it was a loss of rupees 5 for him because the cost price of that book was rupees 10, but the customer paid him only rupees 5. So the remaining rupees 5, the, the shopkeeper had to pay from his pocket. So the shopkeeper incurred a loss of rupees 5 in this case. Right? So what we understand is when, whenever the cost price is less than the selling price, then the shopkeeper makes a profit. That means when you buy it for rupees 10 and you sell it for 15, then you make a profit. And the profit is given by SP minus CP. When the cost price and the selling price are the same, so you purchased the book for rupees 10 and you sold it for rupees 10. In that case, you did not make any profit, neither did you incur any loss. So that is a no profit, no loss situation. The third case where the cost price is greater than the selling price, that means you sold it at a price of rupees 5, which is less than the cost price of rupees 10. So in that case, you had incurred a loss and the loss is given by cost price minus selling price. So these are the three possible scenarios with any shopkeeper. Now it depends, it completely depends on how the shopkeeper is able to uh, sell the product so that he can make profit for himself. Okay. Now, If we ask you to calculate the profit or loss percentage, so how would you do that? Because how do we calculate profit or loss? That is simple. We just subtract the cost price and the selling price from each other. And that's how we calculate profit or loss. But how do we calculate profit percentage? So let us take an example. So while calculating profit or loss percentage again, we need to remember a simple concept. Like how we saw that increase or decrease percentage always is over the initial amount, right? On the initial value. In a similar way, profit or lost percentage is also always calculated on the cost price and never on the selling price. That's because the cost price, let's say the cost price is rupees 10. So if the shopkeeper decides to have a profit percentage of 10%, so that 10% is on that cost price of rupees 10. 
right or if the shopkeeper is because he doesn't have any other choice so maybe he decides to have a loss of 1% so that loss of 1% is over the cost price of rupees 10 right so the cost price and the profit or loss percentage basically decides what would be the selling price so let us take an example let us say that the shopkeeper purchases a book whose cost price is rupees 50 and he sells the same book to this customer and the selling price is rupees 60. So can you tell me whether the shopkeeper made a profit or a loss? Definitely a profit. That's because in this case, SP is greater than CP. Selling price is more. And how much is the profit? The profit would be SP minus CP. So that is rupees 60 minus 50, which is rupees 10. So the shopkeeper made a profit of rupees 10. Now, if I ask you to calculate the profit percentage, how would you calculate the profit percentage? So in a similar way that we did to calculate the increase or decrease in percentage. So profit percentage would be equal to the profit that he made divided by the cost price into 100%. Percent. So this is how profit percentage will be calculated. That is 10 divided by 50 into 100. So this is equal to 20%. That means uh, the shopkeeper made 20% profit by selling this book. So we can say that profit percentage is always calculated like this. Profit divided by cost price into 100%. Now, not only profit, even if you want to calculate loss percentage, this is how you will calculate. Loss divided by cost price into 100. Now, I hope you understood why are we including cost price here. Because profit or loss percentage is always on the cost price. right? So, if the shopkeeper is having 10% profit or 20% profit, so that 20% profit is on the cost price. Right? So that is why we have cost price in this uh, formula for calculating profit percentage. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.